Hello, live from our studios here at Adesawe Kandai and Accra. This is News at 10 on TV3 and 3FM 92.7. You can also catch us live on your DSTV channel 279. We are also interactive on our various social media platforms on Facebook. It's TV3GH. Twitter is TV3Ghana. And Instagram is also uh, TV3Ghana. I'm Stephen NT. It's uh, good to have you join me. Tonight, the National Builders Corps recruits embark on demonstrations tomorrow. But uh, let's take a look at the stories that made the headlines today. Chief Justice Sophie, Justice Sophia Ekufu has directed for the closure of the Jabain District Court 2 with immediate effect. During a day's tour of some district courts in the capital Accra, she described the structure housing the court as a death trap. And still tonight, the Speaker of Parliament, Professor Aaron Michael Quay, has charged the House Committee of Parliament to take steps towards implementing a pension scheme for members of Parliament to cushion them while on retirement. After a tribute for the late MP and Chairman of the NDC, Dr. Kwabine J, the Speaker associated himself with calls for a retirement package for members of the legislature. And still in Parliament, the minority has accused government of discreetly recruiting members of the new patriotic party into the Bureau of National Investigations, BNI, as part of what it terms a rigging agenda in the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections. Deputy Minority Whip Ahmed Ibrahim alleged the recruits have started their operations in areas considered to be strongholds of the National Democratic Congress, NDC. And still tonight, the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission has described the strike by the mortuary workers as illegal and has requested government to suspend their salaries. The Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Edward Kwapong, expressed disappointment over their action, particularly when they were still negotiating. Right, those were our major news highlights. Remember, you can hear me live on 3FM 92.7. Catch us on DSTV uh, channel 279. Also streaming live on Facebook. Up next is the big one. Welcome back. Now, the leadership of the coalition of NAPCO trainees says it is more than resolute to hit the streets uh, tomorrow uh, to demonstrate over what they term as poor conditions of service. If you have been following issues at the front of the NAPCO trainees, uh, they have been agitating over a, a barrage of issues. Earlier today, the coalition issued a statement to dispel rumors that the said demonstration had been called off. Well, I'm joined in the studio now uh, by the national president of the uh, coalition of NAPCO trainees, uh, Nana Berima Esamoa, for some details of their intended demonstration. Good evening and thank you. We're extremely grateful that you could uh, uh, join us. Uh, we're concerned that the NAPCO, the, you're hitting the streets over a demonstration of issues which you have uh, listed in your uh, statement. But I want to find out whether you've had any form of negotiations or deliberations with the relevant authorities who are supposed to be resolving your issues before you're going on the demonstration. Uh, good evening, sir. In fact, I would like to say this is not the first time we've threatened demonstration. If you oh, you see, it's, it's recently, so appropriately you, you yes. are describing it as a, as a threat. It's, it's yeah, a threat. No, no. a threat this to go on this, demonstration. This, this time You're holding we, government to ransom over a policy which is supposed to provide you some reliefs. Not, not exactly. Not exactly. In as much as we wanna 
communicating mm. to the public about the displeasure and misgivings we are practically experiencing in this initiative. We want to petition major stakeholders on the various concerns. We think if we actually implement mm. them, it will engender the benefit, the collective benefit of tourism. So tell me why you're going on demonstration. We, we are embarking on massive action, basically because of our demands, which haven't been fully addressed. What are the demands? First of all, we have trainees with arrears backlogs mm. in the scheme. How many months arrears backlog? So far, uh, we, we are in categories. We have trainees. Some can two months, some yes, three months. Some three months. As I can confidently say, we have trainees since the inception of the initiative. They haven't received anything at all. And also, we have trainees. We recently, we initially, we had issues with regard to our details. We had some of X2. We were. You mean your data? Yes. Uh, exactly. Your personal data needs yes. to be captured. You need to be uh, paid through e switch and all of that. Have you met those requirements? We, we, we've done that. Long ago, mm. even to the extent that some of us at the verge of payment, after we were able to sail through this adventurous validation system. Why do you call it adventurous yes, validation? Yes, because it's necessary it in order to cut off all those who are not genuine. You don't no, think no, so? Not exactly, because in fact, we've, we've done it. Why I'm saying adventurous? Because we've been subjected to rigorous processes. And you think the processes yes. are yeah, unnecessary? Uh, no, I mean, you're, you're, you're it, an it, educated it, person. It, it, you're it, using it, very qualified words it, to say it, what you, are, it, you yes, have to uh, say. Exactly. And why, why, why I'm saying that is because, in fact, I'm saying that out of resentment because it is a simple routine, like go and validate your details. You, you, you key into the portal, you correct your details. Some of us, we did it on mm. countless occasions. occasions. Before they paid, th at the verge of pay point, they had paid up to January. But they only released November and December. Mm. Because of that, they didn't upgrade us and add us to the master list. Mm. <laughs> so you in sound very with, frustrated. Yes, uh, is is really is really frustrating and as at now we have trainees who have done a whole lot of validation some of them since the niche inception so of it doesn't the, look they like been paid. it doesn't look like they would ever be successful with any validation since they've been doing the same we, thing we, we, over we, and over we, is that we, what you're saying we, we have done it on countless occasions but any time there is inception or fresh batch payment we are segregated because recently as we are speaking now they've paid much which we thought per the initial propositions they came out with a settlement plan that mm. they want to clear all arrears backlogs before they proceed to release the fresh stipends. But as at now, they've paid much. All our arrears issues are, have been unattended to, which is, is, if it is so very, I very traumatic I situation that you, for I reckon that you've been in some form of discussion or talk with the relevant authorities. We, 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 we've done it. We've done it. And Even no feedback? No responses? No, no, no feedback. Ex one, it has been a major problem, especially, mm. which is lack of communication, mm. ardent communication, because we are technocrats. So sometimes when you are dealing with X, even if there is um, a, a prevailing issues there, you have to come out with a settlement plan, which will come from the official point. Do you get it? But mm. if it's not like that, and you'll be having crisscrossing information turning around meanwhile the relevant issues on grounds we are not addressing it it is it is really heart-rending mm. i can see your frustration i need you to calm down but uh, tell me uh, there being rumors that the, the, the demonstration was cancelled why would anybody spread such a rumor uh, uh, it does suggest to me that perhaps your front is not organized it it is not like that i think People were maliciously deployed to peddle mischiefs like that, that there has been potential postponement. Mm. But I came out with a contrary communicate mm. that even if stipends are paid today, tonight, we will still hit the street. Why? Because we are... Then it means that you are, you are, you are no, going on demonstration not, on not, not, another reason not, totally different not, from stipends we, we, because we, if it hits your we, account, we, we, you we, have no we, reason we have, we to have, go on demonstration. We have demonstration. a lot of concern to raise. Still related we, 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 to yes, the exactly. running of the program? Ex exactly. We have or to, the we, pay? Yes. 
First, the pay is is number one factor. Delays. In Delays. Pay. Yes, I, we are talking about the lack of formalization where trainees we have been working for almost three months for one stipend, which makes <laughs> some of us highly indebted. And immediately you receive the one month stipend, yeah, it too. instantly absorbs into debt payment. Debt payment. Okay. That has been the issue. But if we put that aside, we are having a whole lot of challenges in, in this initiative. Do you think the it's program is worth it at all? I mean, okay. looking at the problems you're narrating and the challenges your people are going through, do you think it was worth it starting the program in the first place? I will say this is a call of an urgent move of the coalition. No, you're not answering my question. Do you think the program is worth it at all, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, because the entire initiative is really laudable. Mm. Just that, in fact, administrative syndromes and inefficiencies are causing all these Who's administrative minor. inefficiencies? The operators of the scheme or the managers? We, we are talking about managers coming from the district directorate to the national level. A whole lot of misrepresentation. So when you have interactions with the uh, relevant authorities, do you tell them this? Do you give them this? Uh, 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 do you uh, tell uh, them that they are ineffective and they, they, are, not, they are not working to, <laughs> we, to we, make the program we, as we, popular as government wanted it we, to be? We, we've told them, even with our confrontations mm. with our district coordinators, that has been another issue, politicizing the initiative. Sometimes when you try to figure out mm. mishaps and you want to draw the attention to it, they rather they stigma you as Yes, yes, political. like you want to dent the reputation of the entire initiative, which is very, very so problematic. So tell me uh, details about your demonstration. Where is it starting from? We, Where we, is it ending? Yes, we are starting from Obrasport. And we, we will head... Last tomorrow? Yes, yes. And the final point is ministries. But we want to confront... Uh, minister for Information, because we think he so has, he has been misguided on certain things. Ministry of, ministry of yes. uh, Finance, where finance, are you going? We, we, we will go to Finance, Ministry of Information, Interior, and the Ministry of Employment, a yes, to present our petition, because right. we deem they've been misguided on certain things. Because recently, on an interview granted by the Minister for Information, he said, those of us with arrears, we haven't been paid because of data discrepancies. In fact, when it, it, it rather irritates X a lot, because mm. that is the experience I'm telling you, that some of X2, we were able to sail through this strenuous validation mm. on process on countless occasions. Needless, you, yes, you think Yes, no, no, not needless, because they were st like stressing us too much, too because much. it is just a simple task to perform. But when you do it, the stipend <laughs> keep on not anyway. coming. Right. Do you uh, get it? That is. Then I'm very much somewhere. I know that uh, you are agitated. Uh, we do hope that your problems are resolved, uh, and we wish you the very best in your organization. Uh, Nana uh, very much Samoa is a uh, spokesperson for the coalition of uh, NAPCO trainees.